What are the biggest benefits and challenges of switching to headless? Well, it, of course, it depends uh, your use case, your needs, uh, your project. But uh, one of the be benefits is that, of course, it's it's a smaller scope, so it's a lesser of a big machine and something much more focused. So it's a it's usually good to take a best of breed approach, I think. So that's what it is. You have a, if you really just need this content creation solution, uh, then headless is somehow. Uh, good for that, so you don't have to carry the other features, basically. Uh, that's one benefit. So again, we are not headless, but we've been working with publishers for 15 years, and I think we have very similar capabilities, so I don't know if it's, a, it's really a benefit. Uh, no, I think the, the first one is really the one that matters. It's more compact, it's more lean. The challenges are that you will have to take care of the delivery of the content yourself, so as I mentioned, there are maybe some use cases where the delivery is anyway something you don't control, so then it's not really a challenge. But if you do a web app, if you do a mobile app, if you do a website, you will have to build this yourself, and maybe you don't know it, but you are putting your finger in some gears that can take you quite uh, <laughs> a long time into a, a development phase, and uh, something that you will not only have to develop, but you will have to maintain, and well, you're suddenly having much more to do. What we see more and more is customers asking us headless when they actually have a website to do. And for some reason, they, they think they will do their website with the latest uh, fancy JavaScript library, which is great. And actually, we love JavaScript here. But uh, they, they very often go this way because of the buzz, because uh, uh, of what's in the air now, but they don't really know that they might engage in something which will generate a lot of work. Uh, they might commit to uh, technologies that are uh, maybe uh, subject to change rather quickly, especially on the front-end side. So uh, there's every six months a new, or every six weeks, a new JavaScript library which uh, replace the one which was in fashion. Or, so, so my only thing with that is that by rebuilding the web delivery, by rebuilding the website yourself from APIs instead of using uh, well, the template engine of a CMS and the way a traditional CMS works, uh, you will definitely be able to do something which is pixel perfect and which is exactly what you need, but you're engaging into a, a rather big uh, work stream, a big project where you will build a lot of code, where you will have to maintain this code, and you will have many reasons to fail, much more than if you would reuse components which are actually already ready to, to deliver this kind of thing. So I don't say you should not do it. There are some cases where you should. You should do it from Easy or from uh, another pure headless uh, API, but you need to be aware about that. It's not like the front will not build magically and it will not work by itself magically just by uh, stacking a couple of front-end engineers uh, doing the website.